Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's leasing.com final day. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we are. The last time out you would have seen us beat Oxford United 3-1 to advance to the leasing.com trophy final. A pretty easy game all told. Uh, ran out comfortable 3-1 winners in that. Uh, since then, been on another decent little run in the league. Not as good as what we had uh, achieved. Uh, we beat Wickham, then lost away to Hull. So following that, we had a win against Scunthorpe with goals from Menji and Denham, the two centre-backs getting the job done there. Followed by a draw away at uh, Coventry, where we had Mitch Clark sent off in the second half. Uh, then a 3-0 win against Shrewsbury. Menji getting on the score sheet again. His resurgence at centre-back has been phenomenal. Uh, and then we played Doncaster and drew 1-1. So guys, it is now Cup final day. It's our third appearance at Wembley in four seasons. So if you guys hadn't uh, weren't up to date on, with the series, in when we were in the National League South, we got to the uh, FA Trophy final and got battered by Notts County. Uh, the year later, we returned to Wembley for the FA Trophy final again as we were promoted out of the National League into League Two. Uh, that time round, we scraped it against uh, Northampton on penalties, but got the trophy secured. That's all you need to know. Then after that, we uh, this is the th uh, so this is the third appearance. So we've got a, a fifty fifty record at Wembley at the moment. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, obviously, we are playing Preston. Who, if I jump into our league table. Things got real close at the top here with not many games left to play. Um, we are currently four points behind Preston, but obviously we did have that terrible run earlier on in the season. If we jump into our schedule, as I said, there's not many games left. Uh, there's just the six games left. Our running's not too bad. We're playing a lot of teams in the middle of the table. So Notts County are 12th, Gillingham uh, 16th, also 17th, Crawley 14th, Colchester 11th. And then Luton is our toughest game uh, at the end of the season as they are in fifth. So we will be advancing. Here is the leasing.com trophy final. We are playing Preston. Um, previous meetings, we kind of have the better of Preston with the win at Twerton and then the draw away at Preston. Um, it's going to be a big one. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. A little bit apprehensive. Preston are favourites. I have just clocked. Uh, oh, Swanson's got a knock. Mm. Okay, so this is the team to take on Preston at Wembley. Smith is in goal. Uh, the Brazilian, uh, Winnock, who joined us uh, in January. Uh, right back, uh, Denham, Menji, DeMarco, Finkler, Ray, Young, uh, Militari, Wellens, and White. Um, I'm just going to take a quick second. So, yeah, we have got Connor Stanley on the bench. And we do have Jay McDonald on the bench, as well as Dreher, Ititi, uh, and the other Italian fullback, and Manel, obviously making up the contingent. It's going to be an interesting one. As I said, we kind of do have the advantage over Preston uh, in terms of games played. But obviously, they kind of have the advantage of the fact that they are top of League One. It's a very interesting time. Very interesting. Looking forward to the game. Um, if we don't win, it's not the end of the world. I know I shouldn't be saying that as the manager. You know, you want to win everything, really. But it's taken ages to load up at Wembley. So this is the team. This is the shape that they've been playing pretty much all season. Uh, Martins always has a habit of scoring against me, Fabio Martins. Uh, 15 goals and 15 assists so far this season. I mean, that's impressive. Uh, we've also got Ben Potts, who's got 15 goals and 4 assists. But the main danger threat for them is this guy, who has now scored 23 goals in, um, what's that, 42 appearances, which is pretty good. It's a decent return. It's better than what my forwards are producing, but he has been on an absolute tear of late. Um, I don't know if I can see his last five games or not. No, I can't see his last five games, but obviously you can see he was playing for them in the championship here. Uh, five goals in 26, and he's obviously now stepped it up massively and he's got 18 in 32. I know there's a bit of a disparity in the leagues between League One and the championship, but it's going to be an interesting one. Obviously, we've got this new gen midfield now. Obviously, we've got Winnick at uh, right back and White up front. Um, it's going to be interesting. Let's get into the dressing room. Go out and win the final for the supporters is what I've said. Uh, as advised by my assistant, that's not necessarily worked. So let's go in and say passionately, I've got the faith in you guys to make the difference. Everyone seems motivated other than Winnick. He can't speak English fully yet. So 
we'll leave him there. Ollie Young's for Ashford. How long do you think he can last? He can do the full match. He'll be fine. Um, any team will miss a player of his caliber. Uh, Menji, he's been playing really well, and I want him to keep up. He has actually been phenomenal for us. So, click play. Here we go into the game at Wembley. Let's see how we get on. Corner early. Thinker into Menji, but it's clear only to Winnick. A wink. Over towards White. And that was close. Header skims the top of the bar. Um, usually when we play Preston, we have a lot of the ball. So I'm going to stay attacking for now um, until hopefully we get a goal. And then I will address the situation there. As we've got this throw then, Wink throws it in towards White, but easy for the Preston defence to cover. Uh, they're playing some nice stuff here, passing it around. But Finkler is able to rob the loose ball, advances into the penalty area and shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, 20 minutes gone. Finkler's got a knock. Looks like a pulled hamstring, so that is his time over. Um, we bring in Connor Stanley, who's actually been phenomenal for us recently as well, uh, barring a couple of suspensions and stuff. He's missed a couple of games. But in comes Connor Stanley. This is your time to shine, Connor. I know a lot of championship clubs are after you. Half an hour gone then at Wembley. Still nothing of note really to share. Um, Preston have just had their first shot on target, but the game still didn't show it to us. Um, I know watching these stat screens are a little bit boring, but if there's no match action, there's not really much I can show you. Um, Ray playing with a 6.4, that is not great. Um, as that runs us into half time, we've not really done anything yet. Neither team really, um, really pushing for anything. Um, I'm going to calmly say we've been the better team because I think we have, I mean, in terms of shots and stuff like that. So we're going to the second half. Obviously, we've already used one of our subs. Xavier Simmons on their team uh, get, getting a knock and being taken off pretty much straight away. They're not risking the man who they signed from Chelsea, who we did look at as well. But obviously, where we were bringing in Ray, obviously had Luke Dreher as well. I thought we didn't need that extra person in central midfield. Here comes Potts on the right. Young put some pressure on him, but not a great deal. Preston's still able to play around with it here. As Wellens has stolen the ball, if he finds the pass into White, finds it into White, it's White. Oh, come on. He's buried it right into the bottom corner. Andy White on loan from Arsenal. Nice attack from us there. Nice uh, work from Charlie Wellens. And he actually found the pass, which is just what you want. You don't want him to be greedy in that situation, especially on a stage as this. Robs the ball from the Preston man there. The other centre-back cuts across to close the angle, but White takes a nice touch out into his stride and fires it past the Preston keeper. We are 1-0 up. Leasing.com trophy on the line. We flick to the cautious mentality. Can we see this out? Andy White's been booked. I don't really want to go down to 10 men, so we'll see what this highlight has to bring. Bonazzoli just advances straight into our penalty area, but hammers it straight at Smithies. Okay, 65 gone. We've got this highlight. DeMarco with the throw towards White, but it's cleared by Preston. Back to the goalkeeper. Rudd clears it long towards Martins. Miliateri's putting the pressure on. Into the central midfield. Wellens has robbed it again. He's been phenomenal in centre midfield for me. Ah, ball through to White this time. Not as composed from the Arsenal man as he lashes it over the crossbar. So 70 minutes gone. I am going to make a change. I am going to take White off, even though he has scored. Um, Jay McDonald's going to come on. Actually, no, I'm not. Mm, yeah, I am. Okay, White's going to come off. I don't want to go down to 10 men. And then Dre her. Let's keep Ray on for now. That's all I'm going to change. I'm just going to bring on McDonald. That's all I'm going to do. There's so many minds here. Got a free kick before these changes happen. Young whips the ball in. Looks like it's cleared off the line there. Only as far as white, but the highlight is over. Must have just been the header that we were looking at. 15 minutes to go then. Jay McDonald comes onto the pitch. I'm actually going to flick us to a defensive mentality now. Just going to jump in the team instructions as well. We're going to play very short. I'd quite like us to play an extremely low uh, speed thing. We're going to be very disciplined. Um, I think that's kind of it for in possession now. I'm just trying to like stifle it and get them all back 
just playing it nice and steady no real risks in this game as we all approach the last few minutes going into injury time now i am clock watching now last couple of minutes is that full time come on we've done it again another trophy that improves the ratio at wembley as well two wins one loss at wembley this team is special hopefully this can catapult us to getting promoted into the championship as well so there's the stats 17 shots for us nine on target uh, 11 for preston with just the four on target we just edged possession as well it seemed like a lot of their players didn't turn up to be perfectly honest um i was expecting more from Potts, uh martins and then they took off uh, Bonazzoli as well. So maybe they're focusing more on the league campaign. Who knows? That was a really special result, lads. Well done. We lift the trophy. <sighs> Leasing.com, hey. It's another one in the books. I mean, it's another one for the trophy cabinet um, to go along with the promotions. And let's jump into the inbox quickly. On a wet afternoon at Wembley, Bath had the honour of listing the leasing.com trophy. Um, yeah, cleanly struck effort, close to goal just before the hour. Um, <laughs> for an occasion that promised so much, the fixture generated into a series of fouls that disrupted the flow of the match and allowed neither team to really get in their groove. Um, well, we got in our groove as we won. So never mind. Um, Bath to receive 108k for winning the leasing.com. Uh, the border ecstatic obviously um there it is then so we win the leasing.com trophy our key player throughout the competition was daniel ray let's see how he's got on for us um so he's averaging almost an eight there five appearances two goals uh one being a penalty just playing really well in the central midfield he is also wanted by half the premier league <laughs> jesus okay here we go let's, let's have another summer of losing all of our good players um, Jens Finkler is injured with a pulled hamstring, took him straight off. That is the medals. Who gets a medal having only played one appearance? Paya gets one, Zamora gets one, McGee, Dre, uh, Wink gets one as well, Jay McDonald. Hood brings glory to Bath. Preseason odds are 26 to 1. Um, we'll take that. Obviously, we weren't expected to win it when we were in League 2. We probably weren't really expected to win it this season, but obviously... It was the cup competition that started um, that started turning this run around, to be perfectly honest. I mean, we lost in the leasing.com there, but the 7-0 against South End is kind of where I'm going to say our season started turning around. Um, and then coupled that with the victory against Wimbledon, uh, beating Chelsea on penalties, uh, the nice 1-0 against Plymouth Argyle, 3-1 against Oxford. I think, I think, you know, I think we've done pretty well. Let's... Um, Let's just filter. Let's just filter this so you can just look at our leasing.com fixtures. I mean, we've won pretty much every game in that competition except from one away at MK Dons, which seemed to be a little bit of our bogey team at the moment. Um, but all in all, I think we've just been really, really strong in that competition. It's great to get one uh, like that under the belt because obviously, fingers crossed, we won't have that competition next season uh, if we get into the championship. Um, so let's pop this filter back on to all competitions there we go okay so it's an interesting final six games of the season um i will bring you guys back towards the end of the season i don't know when um it'll be interesting to see how we go on in these next couple of games obviously we've got a friday night game against Notts county up next um, but for now, guys, that is it. We've won. We've won the Leasing.com trophy. It's an amazing achievement for a club the size of Bath City. Let's see if we can get the league done. But until next time, guys, I'll see you very soon.